J.K. Rowling may have expressed doubt in their relationship, but this ship will never sink. Stop, stop, stop. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Ron and Hermione moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite moments that Harry's two best friends shared together in the film franchise. What? What? That's what you think? Number 10. Sort out her priorities. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the very first installment of the series, when the trio wasn't even a trio yet, they had their first adventure together when they ended up in the forbidden third floor corridor at Hogwarts. After escaping from a giant three-headed dog and the caretaker Argus Filch, the three Gryffindors end up back in the common room. Hermione, not yet one for rule breaking, utters one of her most memorable lines in the series. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. Ron's surprised response is funny and foreshadows the dynamic the two will have in the stories that follow. She needs to sort out her priorities. Number 9. The Epilogue – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 Jumper Jumping from the very beginning to the very end, 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts, we get to see how Ron and Hermione's relationship has progressed. J.K. Rowling has said that she always knew the series would end this way and that the final chapter was written many years before Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was released. At King's Cross that day, Ron and Hermione appear with their children, the oldest of whom is about to start her first year at Hogwarts. Even after all this time, it's obvious that they're still very much in love. Number 8. The Room of Requirement – Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Thanks, Ron. One of the most memorable storylines in the entire series is the creation of Dumbledore's army to combat Professor Umbridge's draconian rule in Order of the Phoenix. When the students are practicing their defense against the dark arts skills in the Room of Requirement, there are two subtle scenes that take place between Ron and Hermione. When they're practicing the Patronus charm, we see that Hermione's Patronus is an otter, while Ron's is a small terrier. It's never mentioned in the books, but many fans have pointed out that historically, Jack Russell Terriers are known for chasing otters. Their duel together is also a highlight. Although, was there ever any doubt who would win? <laughs> Number 7. Ron in the Hospital Wing – Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince What's she doing here? I might as ask you the same question. Though there are subtle romantic interludes that take place throughout the series, the sixth book and movie focus more heavily on the burgeoning relationships than any other. This is when it began to seem obvious to fans that there was definitely more than friendship between Ron and Hermione. Hermione's reaction to seeing Ron with Lavender Brown made fans aware of her feelings. But it wasn't until Ron was recovering in the hospital wing, after being poisoned, that his thoughts on the matter became clear when he groggily asked for Hermione rather than Lavender. <sighs> <laughs> Number 6. The Yule Ball – Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Hermione becomes the first of the trio to enter into a romantic relationship, when she quote fraternizes with the enemy and goes to the Yule Ball with Victor Crumb. Donning a pink dress, the stunning Gryffindor catches everybody off guard, especially Ron. You're fraternizing with the enemy. The enemy? Even before the big night, her annoyance with Ron is clear. The real blowout happens at the dance itself, when Ron berates Hermione for spending time with one of the champions who's competing against Harry. But Hermione senses that his anger might be slightly misplaced. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does! And not as a last resort! Number 5. Hermione's Confundus Charm – Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince the hints at Ron and Hermione's romantic interest in one another are downplayed enough that fans were always left wondering if they would really end up together or not. In Half-Blood Prince, however, their interest in one another was becoming more overt. <laughs> Hermione is known for her adherence to the rules, so it seemed like a sure sign that something was afoot when she used magic to help Ron's chances of getting the keeper position on the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Just as Hermione can't help but crack a grin, 
neither can the shippers. <laughs> Number four, Ron comes back. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One. Complete. Oswald Weasley. In the first half of Deathly Hallows. The trio endures one of the most challenging parts of their journey when they're exiled to the British countryside, unsure how to proceed with their quest. When the burden of wearing Slytherin's locket becomes too much for Ron to bear, he leaves Harry and Hermione, and is presumably unable to return. I get it. I saw you two the other night. When he finally finds them, however, and defeats the Horcrux, fans got a look at the inner workings of his mind and the jealousy he felt about Harry and Hermione's relationship. You show up here after weeks, and you say, hey? The fight that takes place between Ron and Hermione when they first see each other again is not only funny, but poignant as well. Don't think this changes anything. Oh, of course not. I only just destroyed a bloody Horcrux. Why would that change anything? Number three, Ron defends Hermione's honor. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You'll pay for that one, Malfoy. Eat slugs! In Chamber of Secrets, when tensions are heating up between the pureblood wizards at Hogwarts and the Muggleborn students, Draco Malfoy calls Hermione a mudblood, an offensive term in the wizarding world. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. Without even taking a moment to think through his actions, Ron curses Malfoy with his broken wand, which causes some unpleasant results. <laughs> Ron's protectiveness over Hermione and his willingness to stand up for her in times of need are demonstrated even in this scene early from the series. This is echoed again in Deathly Hallows when Bellatrix is torturing Hermione and Ron is desperate to help her. <coughs> Number 2. Wingardium Leviosa – Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Wingardium Leviosa One of the most quotable and memorable moments from the first film is when Harry, Ron, and Hermione are in charms class together learning the levitation spell. Before they're friends, both Ron and Harry are annoyed by Hermione's teacher's pet status and know-it-all attitude. Ron is particularly irritated when Hermione instructs him how to pronounce Wingardium Leviosa. You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. This prompts Ron to make fun of Hermione later leaving her crying in the bathroom. When Hermione is cornered later on, however, Ron uses the spell correctly in order to knock a troll out with his own club. It's this moment that truly marked as the beginning of the trio's friendship. Cool. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. That's my girlfriend, you love me! And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. Number one, their first kiss. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. You do it. I can't. Yes, you can. In the books, Hermione and Ron share their first kiss after he expresses concern over the safety of the house elves during the Battle of Hogwarts. Since SPEW was overlooked in the movies, though, this moment had to be tweaked. So instead, Ron and Hermione venture into the Chamber of Secrets to destroy another Horcrux. The aftermath leaves the two soaked and racing to catch their breath. Having survived yet another dangerous encounter, they finally decide to address the elephant in the room and abruptly kiss. Even if you prefer the book's interpretation, there's no denying that this scene is utterly romantic, thrilling, and passionate, not to mention satisfying after so much buildup. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.